two is to name the following compounds. So here we have two phenyl groups, and they all have different substituents. So this is a benzene ring, which is a six-membered aromatic ring. And before we start naming, we want to number all the carbons in the ring. And we want to make sure that we have the lowest number possible um, at the end, and that our most important group, so in this case it is the alcohol group, so we want to make sure that this group is on carbon 1. So if our alcohol group is carbon 1, if we wanted the smallest amount of numbers, we're going to go counterclockwise, making this bromine on carbon 2, and the second bromine on carbon 4. Okay, so now that we numbered our benzene ring, we can start to name it. So first we're going to uh, specify which carbons the bromine atoms are on. So on carbon 2 and carbon 4, we have two bromines, so I'm going to put the prefix di and then bromo. And our parent is a uh, benzene, which can also be called uh, like a phenyl group. So the parent name is phi, and then we are going to end it in all, which already tells us that carbon 1 has the alcohol group. So the name of this car uh, compound is 2,4-dibromo phenol. So now we can do a similar approach to our second compound. Now let's number again. And we also go counterclockwise since the methyl group and this iodine group are right beside the alcohol group. Okay, so again, we are going to specify which carbon all of the other uh, substituents are on. So this is an iodo group, and this group is called a methyl group. So if we were to do it in alphabetical order, the iodine group would be named first. So on carbon 3, we have our I iodine group, so 3 iodo. And then on carbon 2, we have our methyl group. And then again, our parent is called phenol. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said. Polysubstituted aromatic compounds are named as follows. First is by identifying the parent that will give the least number of locant to the other substituents. For example, if the aromatic compound has an OH group, the name of the parent will be phenol. Or if it has a methyl group as a substituent, the name of the parent can then be toluene. Okay, so that's why our parent was named phenol. And then they just have a lot of different examples of different aromatic compounds. And then starting with this, this is just an example of their own. So in this case, the parent will be phenol instead of aniline because one of the substituents is closest to the OH group. So if the iodine were closer to the NH2, then the parent would be called aniline. The second is by naming the remaining substituents and assigning them their corresponding locants. Note that the substituent of the parent is always treated as number one, and the locant of the other substituent should be the least number as possible. So they showed how 
they would number this particular example. Lastly, finalize the name by arranging the name of the substituents alphabetically, then add the parent name. For the given example, the name of the substituents will be iodo and amido, amino. Therefore, the name of the compound is 5-amino-2-iodophenol. Okay, so now they get into our question. So they said the name is 2,4-dibromophenol, which is correct. And for part B, they said it is 3-iodo-2-methylphenol. Yep. So the solution is correct.